Hi everyone, good to see you all again. Welcome to my session on tie and dye. Bandini is an ancient Indian technique of tie and dye textile decoration done by plucking the cloth with the fingernails into many tiny bindings that form a figurative design. The term Bandini is derived from the Sanskrit language which means to bind or to tie. Today, most of these Bandini making centers are situated in Gujarat, Rajasthan, Sindh, Punjab regions as well as in Tamil Nadu where it is known as Sunguri. Today, let's watch a demonstration of some of these interesting Bandini techniques that you can easily create at home. Bandini using rope technique. Bandini using rope technique is another interesting tie and dye technique which you can try on any kind of a cotton fabric. You will need a following supplies for this activity. A starch removed white cotton fabric material, a ziplock cover to save your fabric after the dyeing process, a plastic sheet to cover your work area, a bowl of water to dampen your fabric, two cups of water, one for adding with your paints and one for washing your brushes, palette for mixing your colors, flat and round brushes with grip handle from Faber-Castell, a nylon rope like this, same way acrylic colors or fabric paints from Faber-Castell. These colors they come in 12 different colors and they are assorted and there is a pearl color in this kit which can be used to get a shimmery effect. So we'll be using these colors because they are versatile and they can be used on fabrics, ceramics, canvases, woods and metals. So let's get started with our Bandini technique using the rope. As a first step, we are going to take our starch removed fabric, the cotton fabric which is already starch removed. You can soak the fabric for half an hour to 45 minutes in a bucket of water and once when the seizing and the starch is removed, your fabric has to be washed and dried and then it's ready to go through the tie and dye process. For the Bandini technique, we are taking a starch removed fabric and we are going to immerse the fabric in a cup of water so that the fabric is damp enough to take the colors. It's going to soak this like this and squeeze off the excess water nice and tight. It should not be dripping with water, it should be damp but should not be wet. Okay, so now you have squeezed off the excess water. Let's open up our fabric and start with our knotting. Generally, we use rubber bands, for, but for this technique, we'll be using a rope. So, this rope technique can be done by using a nylon rope. So, I've taken now a nylon rope and I'm just making it double so that it's easy to pull. Just put the rope on one corner of your fabric and start rolling it like this. Nice and tight. And at the end of the fabric, you can join these two ends of the rope like this and start pulling. Just hold this like this nice and tight and start pulling it like this. When you tighten it, you'll get a lot of crinkles on the fabric like this. So once when you get the crinkles like this, you can make a knot. like that and it's now ready for the dyeing process. I've taken some Faber Castell fabric colors and I mixed and kept already in my palette. I'm going to follow a warm color scheme for this activity that is I'm going to use lemon yellow, orange and crimson red for this shading that I'm going to do on my tie and dye technique with the rope technique. So I've already mixed and kept them with little water. So I'm just going to start applying that. As a first step, you're going to apply yellow color on the fabric. Since our fabric is damp, the colors will be able to pass through it easily. Nicely press it and work with your brush. Same way, flip the fabric and work the color even on the other side. Cover the whole fabric with yellow first. I 
After covering the whole fabric with the yellow acrylic paint, you're just going to press it nicely with your fist. Like that, two, three times you can press it. This will help the yellow color to pass through the fabric till the end. And then the next color is going to be orange color. I'm going to take orange and I'm going to apply orange on the fabric again. This is again applied on both the sides of the fabric. Flip this fabric over and apply orange. Do not add too much of water to the paint because it will get a toned down color. So just apply little water and mix the paints. So once when I apply the orange color, I'm going to squeeze the fabric again just like the same way how I did my yellow. You don't have to put too much of pressure like that. And then as a last color, we'll be using red. Like how I'm doing. And flip this fabric over and try the same on the other side. Like this, you can apply all the three colors and press it down firmly. You can also try this effect uh, with different color schemes. Like you can even try cool colors like blue, green, purple can also be used in your color scheme. Once when you finish applying the red color like this, press it not very hard, softly like that and this can be saved with a knot into your Ziploc cover. Leave this in your Ziploc cover for two to three hours. Let it be soaked like this and then we will remove it to see our design. After two, three hours of setting time, you can remove the fabric from the Ziploc cover and you can release the fabric from the rope. Carefully pull it out like this and pull out the fabric and you will be able to see a beautiful texture on the fabric with a design like this. So this is how the rope technique output will be in time. If you notice, we have completed our bandhani effect using the rope technique on our white cotton fabric. It's come out really well with a beautiful texture design on it. I've used a warm color scheme for this. You can also try other color schemes. Once when your tie and dye is done, if it's dry, you can start ironing it to fix the colors. After 24 hours, you can iron the fabric on the reverse side to fix the colors permanently. And once when you fix the colors, it can be used. Always. Use a gentle machine wash with the mild detergents to wash your fabric and always shade dry the fabric for durability. I hope you, you enjoyed my tutorial on creating a beautiful tie and dye effect with the Bandini technique. Thanks for watching.